I'm Keith Merrill with the River Club Project team. And I have with me Eric Long, our general manager. I wanted to give you an update on the progress of what's happening down here at the fitness and wellness center and our river club and the pool. Uh, Eric will give you a detailed update our, on the fitness center, but our, our goal is still to be open uh, the 1st of February. Quickly on the River Club dining complex, we have finished basically the design. We know what direction we want to take and we're in the estimating process. Remember, I always like to review this, is that the funds are going to come for that facility from three sources. One is the capital resale fund, second is the is a replacement fund and third of course will be the uh, hurricane uh, insurance proceeds. So uh, <clears throat> the members will vote on the use of resale capital funds for the facility. That's the only vote that will be required. So we're proceeding ahead. We're excited with our design. We've got a wonderful team working on the project and like I say we're in the estimating phase. Our goal is to bring this project to the board by mid-March and then eventually thereafter to you, the members, to vote on the use of the uh, resale capital dollars. So at this point I'll turn it over to Eric. Thank you Mr. Merrill. Uh, so just we're outside the building right now. Uh, next week they're going to start painting the exterior of this building. Uh, so we're going with a color called the jogging path. So that will be the base color here and then on the trim, it's called uh, Oyster White. So we have submitted that to the village of Estero for permitting and hopefully that's all approved and we can move forward with that. Uh, very similar colors to what we have as the Racket Center. So let's go inside and see some of the other things that are going on. So we're inside the fitness center. The whole entire in, uh, first floor of the building has been painted. So we have uh, March Wind is in the uh, first portion of the property. So you have uh, March Wind here, which is a gray color, and then we have rhinestone, the rest of the portion of the building. Uh, we have the flooring uh, installed. It's nice rubberized flooring. It does have a sealant that has been placed on here. We have runners on here just so we don't make a bunch of mess while we're still bringing in some of the material. So I just wanted to uh, showcase, obviously, the beautiful flooring. Starting on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we'll start getting the cardio and strength equipment. Uh, so most of the equipment will be in. Uh, we have a few pieces that will not be available until later. Uh, but the bulk of the equipment, we're going to start having it installed Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Also, the electricians are going to be doing some of the uh, wall caps and also some of the plates in the uh, flooring. Uh, so it's going to look really great and it's going to look like a lot of progress starting at the end of the week. Uh, I want to showcase some of the studio, so we'll go there next. Alright, so we're in the studio. Uh, you can see that we have the laminate flooring in place. Uh, just so you understand, both the gym area and the studio, the flooring is going to be very easy to clean uh, long term. Uh, so it's just a nice uh, uh, damp mop uh, that will address most of this area. We are uh, waiting on the mirrors for this space. Um, we'll most likely be opening the gym potentially without the mirrors. So we just have to be aware of that. Um, but uh, obviously we'll still be able to utilize the space. Just the mirrors won't be in place, but everything else will be. And uh, we'll also have the new fans in this area as well. I wanted to touch on the second floor, so we're going to go upstairs, but we are still waiting on the elevator pieces, and uh, we haven't got the final ETA estimated time, so we're still waiting on that, but hopefully we'll get some more information shortly. Uh, but we also might open the uh, second floor without the elevator being utilized at this point in time, but we're working through that, we'll give you more information as it comes along. So we're on the second floor of the fitness center. It's being painted as we speak. Uh, so we do anticipate opening the uh, second floor February 1st, the same time as the first floor. Again, the only hiccup is our elevator. So we'll be able to open, open this space, but without that uh, elevator accessible. But uh, everything else uh, will be uh, cleaned up before the end of the month. Uh, there were some questions about 
the books, they are in good shape and uh, we have a couple bookshelves that need to be replaced, but all is well on the second floor and it's starting to look really great. So we're at the River Club pool. You can see that they have resurfaced the pool. Uh, all the coping is done. All the pebbling is completed. We're filling up the uh, water as we speak. All the equipment uh, is getting fine-tuned as, as we speak. There is some paver work that has to be done around the pool area. Uh, then also we do plan once this is all complete, there will be some type of service as far as food and beverage service once this is all complete. Uh, timing of when that will be uh, installed or in place, we'll let you know, but we're working through that. Um, just so you know, our food truck is uh, still over at Spring Run. We lent that to them t temporarily, but we do have an option to be able to provide something in the near term in this area while the River Club is going to be rebuilt. Uh, so we're working through that and I want to mention something on our bocce courts. So I want to mention about the bocce courts. Uh, obviously we did have it uh, resurfaced and then also a lot of the drainage has been replaced. Uh, we did have a couple rain uh, storms last week uh, so we were able to evaluate uh, the storm runoff. There was a couple of the courts that there were still some standing water so the contractor is looking at that and making up uh, ways to fix that long term. So we're working through that. The contractor was here on Friday and also this morning. So hopefully all these re remedies have been in place and it's all ready for play. So we're located at the uh, member dock. Uh, right now the material has been dropped off. Uh, the team is working on uh, replacing uh, the dock. So hopefully in the next two weeks we'll have this job completed and uh, it's making some progress, so stay tuned for more. So we're located at the Island Sound Pool. One of the uh, last pieces of equipment finally showed up and we're gonna have the fittings put in and hopefully get it all plumbed in. And that is really our only last item that we're required to uh, get completed so we can open this space. Um, but we do have to do some fine tuning, so most likely this will not be completed until the end of the month and hope to open uh, the same time as the fitness center as well, so planning on February 1st as well. So we're located at the Hammock Greens pool area and the new spa for Hammock Greens. So uh, we've been waiting a while for this permit to be approved, and today we should have the final approval from the village of Estero for a fence permit for the uh, equipment for the new spa area. So the uh, Carter fence should be installing the uh, fence very, very soon and we should be able to open this uh, before too long. So I know this has been a long delay and I apologize to the residents of Hammock Greens, but uh, progress is finally coming our way and uh, they did have delays with the village of Estero in approving uh, these, this permit, but finally we're getting it approved and today we can move forward on finishing this project. Stay tuned for more.